So we're going to move through a yin yoga practice designed to strengthen your immune system. There are two ways that yin yoga can very powerfully do this for you. First of all, we're going to work to lower the stress and lower the stress hormones in your body that can compromise the immune system. Second of all, we're going to work with the lymphatic system. Your lymphatic system is like your internal plumbing and it allows you to remove waste from the body that could cause problems if it wasn't removed. It also allows you to distribute your immune response throughout your body like your white blood cells. Now the system doesn't have a pump like the blood does, so today we're going to work to get this lymphatic system moving and to get it optimal so that your body can do what it needs to do. Now although the practice is on the immune system today, this really is a lovely practice to do at any time because it is so calming. So go ahead, get into some comfy clothes, get onto your mat, Grab a couple of cushions, blankets, whatever you've got for props, and we'll get started. We'll start lying down. You can have a cushion or bolster under the legs. So find a position that feels comfortable for you. Uh, bending the legs in this way supports the lower back. Take your hands up onto your belly and we'll begin with a breathing exercise. So belly breathing and retention of breath. When we breathe into the belly, we massage the internal organs and glands and this helps them move the white cells of the immune system to where they need to be. When we hold the breath, retention of breath, we actually change the genetic activity of the immune cells and we increase them. And we actually really increase the rapid response cells, the cells that go out to fight infection quickly for us. So this is quite a powerful part of this practice. So a comfortable laying position, eyes are closed. Allow your body a moment to relax. Allow your body to start to give its weight over to the floor. Maybe getting a little bit heavier each time you breathe out. Giving the weight of your body over to the floor more and more as you breathe. As you breathe in, start to allow your belly to rise and then fall as you breathe out. So breathing in, belly will rise. Breathing out, belly will fall. And the hands there just helps us to connect with that. So the chest stays as it is without movement, just the belly rising and falling, rising as we breathe in falling as we breathe out. So keeping that belly breathing going, I'm gonna ask you now to breathe in for the count of four. We're going to hold the breath for the count of four and then we're going to breathe out for the count of four. I will count you into it to begin with. So we're going to breathe in two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, Continue that counting internally. Letting the belly rise as you breathe in. Hold, belly falls as you breathe out. If you find holding the breath before is too difficult, just drop that down to two. Keep 
is going. We're really very powerfully calming the nervous system here. You can still allow your body to continue to relax as you breathe out, letting go gradually. a couple more rounds. The body is softening gradually, starting to let go. And this deeper belly breathing is starting to calm things down. We're starting to pay more attention to body and breath. So releasing that breath now, just back to normal. Take a stretch out. And we're going to come into our first posture. So just slowly coming up or rolling to the side and coming up. Okay, so we're ready for our first posture. You wanna take yourself over to the wall, um, somewhere where you've got some clear space. Bring with you a cushion or a couple of cushions, maybe a cushion and a blanket, whatever you've got, bring it with you. And two really big benefits here. We're gonna to start to get that lymphatic system moving um, and we're going to seriously calm the nervous system with this. This is a, a really very much a restorative posture. So coming over to the wall, I want you to get quite close and just laying down to the side. And now the legs to come up. There might be a little bit of fiddling around to get there, so do take your time. Okay, and I hope what you can see here is that we're aiming to just elevate the hips um, slightly above the heart, above the chest. So this is where we can use different props. For me, I've chosen a cushion and a blanket um, so you can do the same or you can use a couple of cushions. Legs straight up the wall. You can bend the knees a little or a lot if you feel that you want to, need to, if things are feeling too intense. And the arms can relax down to the sides or up onto the belly. Or one nice little twist that we can add to this is to take the arms up above, either straight up above out into like a cactus arms kind of shape or a hand down to either elbow. So with a yin yoga class, the reason why there's so many options is because we're really aiming to find a version of the posture and tweak the posture until it really, really works for your own unique body because every single one of us needs and wants something a little bit different in these postures. So don't be afraid to try a couple of different things out and just settle with whatever feels really good to you. So allowing the eyes to close. Breath comes and goes through the nose. The face is soft. Let me just draw that attention back in, becoming aware of the feeling of the body. This is the beginning, so it's important that we are just making a little effort to ground our attention in the here and now. So that means just letting yourself close your eyes and notice the feeling of your own body. I find it helpful 
to start to become curious. So as you start to feel the body is there and you start to feel into muscles and tissues, start to get curious, how is my body feeling today? Where is it holding? Where is it gripping? What does it need? What is there to notice that I haven't been noticing? And as you sit with your body, as this is a practice of surrender and softening, you can begin to invite your body to let go each time that you breathe out. Breathing out, letting go. Breathing out, letting go. start to feel a very gradual softening and relaxing taking place. And we're in no rush, no hurry. So we just allow the body time and space to let go gradually. And as you feel your body slowly beginning to find little ways to let go, Practicing resting your attention with the feeling of your body more and more. So there's nowhere else you need to be. Just be here with the body, feel into the body and breathe. breath be drawn all the way down into the belly so as you're breathing here you're feeling your belly rise and fall and that's just going to help to calm that nervous system even more able to filter out nasties and the nodes are where the immune cells live and are released to fight infection. So it's this whole lymphatic system that we're wanting to uh, just get things moving, get things going. So as we lay here, we know we're doing good things for the body the nervous system, for the immune system. We are resting and restoring. Last few breaths here. Bringing the feet down, tucking the Knees towards the chest. And slowly, taking your time, 
you can roll over onto one side. Just take a moment. And slowly up to a seated position, ready for our next posture. Moving on to a recline twist now. Lying down onto your back. And allowing your arms to relax out to the sides, draw your knees in towards your chest and allow your knees to, in a controlled way, make their way down towards the floor. If it feels too strong as you're making your way down there, don't go all the way, get a cushion or a block underneath or a couple of cushions if you need more support. Looking your head over in the opposite direction, drawing the opposite shoulder down. You can turn your head back to centre if this is too much for your neck, if it starts to hurt the neck in any way. And another option here today is to allow yourself to straighten this top leg. So just a slight variation, just allowing this leg to straighten. Some people like to take a hand up onto the leg. If you don't like the way that that feels, just take the legs back into position. Sometimes it's nice to have a cushion in between the knees if things are getting too strong for the top hip or the lower back and you can still do the variation in that way. So again finding the version of the posture that just feels really really good for you and your body. Allow your body to begin to relax. Breathing out and letting go. Breathing out and letting go. So really just allow your breath to do the work for you in these postures. So you're not trying really hard to relax, you're just breathing and allowing tension to fall away, gradually, slowly. The more time goes on, the more soft, the more released you become. rise and fall, draw that breath all the way down into the belly. Let your shoulders relax, your arms be soft. Muscles in the face are soft. In fact, everywhere in the body now is just Finding little ways to let go. And take our last few breaths here in this posture. this leg back in, drawing these knees back into centre and we'll make our way down to the other side. So, drawing the knees in, knees go to the left, head looks over the right. Options to have cushions under or in, in, or in between the knees or just to straighten this top leg. So if you are straightening the top leg, do allow the foot to rest into the floor or maybe you have a cushion under there if it's not quite reaching the floor. So again, it's really, you know, feel free to use whatever props you have in any way that helps you to support your body. You want to be feeling stretch. You just don't want anything to be aggressive and you want your body to be able to relax and let go into the twist. 
use your instincts and adjust your posture. Closing the eyes, coming back in. Breathing deep, letting that breath come a little bit deeper, drawing it in a little bit more, letting it out a little bit more. And allowing those muscles to soften and release as you breathe. If your mind wanders, just gently coax your attention back into the here and the now. Nowhere else you need to be. And there's nothing that else that you need to be doing. So whatever that mind wanted to chew over or whatever it wanted to do, there's nothing that needs to be done with the mind. Let it go. And just keep coming back, just being in your moment. Nothing to do, nowhere else to be. So, bending that leg back to position, drawing the knees back to centre. Rock the knees from side to side a little. Massage the lower back into the floor. And we're ready for our next posture. Onto our supported fish pose. You're going to need a couple of blankets. So just get your blankets rolled up as I have done. Um, you can use one or two depending on how deep you want to go. So we wanna just have the, the blankets placed roughly around this middle back area, about where a lady's bra strap would be. Um, and just allowing yourself to lay back. Allowing the head to drop behind you. And you can just take maybe the arms out to the sides. You can let your legs be straight. So you can have a little play around here with just whereabouts does this feel the juiciest for you. So we want this, I hope you can see the chest is um, just risen a little here. Shoulders are relaxed back into the floor. If you wanted, you could stack a cushion. You could get more underneath there if you want to get a little bit deeper into this. And that might point and flex your toes a few times and then just let the legs relax. Or you might like to bring the feet in and let the knees come out to the side. So you can decide. If you do this, you can cushion underneath the thighs as well. Letting the eyes close. And don't be afraid to you know, adjust a few times until you feel a version, a position that feels just right for you. And again, just coaxing, allowing your body to give its weight over to the floor. Belly is rising and falling. And we're just happy to be here. Nowhere else we need to be right now other than here. Just enjoying the wave-like rise and fall of the breath. Enjoying witnessing the body, finding little ways to let go as you breathe. And 
and see how powerful it is as you breathe out. Just how effective that breath out is at allowing you to let go of the things that no longer serve you. Whether that be tension or gripping in the body or tension, effort, activity in the mind. Each and every time that you breathe out, there is an opportunity there for you to let go. You're draining up, you're drained from the legs down to the hips, and this is just helping us to move and drain up towards the nose around the top of the body. So as we breathe out and as we let go, we just know that good things are happening for the body. Restoration, rebalancing, draining, detoxing, and calming, which we can feel. Taking a few more breaths here. So, the knees come back to centre, and we can just move slowly from this. This is a really good posture, by the way, guys, on the days that you've been sitting for a long time, rolling those shoulders forwards, it just opens that body up and reverses things for you. We're going to keep the blankets or the cushions, whatever you've been using there, come straight onto the belly and just rest in sphinx for a few moments. So just resting into forearms. And you can leave the blankets there because it's just a nice little bit of support. Head is neutral, face is soft. If you would like to have a block in front of you to rest your head into or a cushion, you can. So whatever height suits you. And just breathe here into this posture. The upper arms will have to work a little. You can allow the shoulders to relax, the face to soften. The body can still let go in little ways. The softer we become, the better.
last few breaths here. And just pressing back into your palms. Just want you to take a moment to relax into child's pose. So just allowing those arms to relax into a comfortable position in front of you or relax behind you, whatever you feel is best and more comfortable. And just let everything relax in your child's pose here. Just allow your body to get heavy for a moment. Get really, really heavy. Totally let go. Just breathe. Take this moment in. posture so just pressing into the palms to roll the body back up to seated into our final posture now so into a butterfly pose so a seated forward fold legs out in front feet come in towards you knees go out to the sides now if you get too much stretch through the thighs and the hips or your knees start to ache especially if you've got something going on there with the knees look after them Get some cushions under here for support. So that's just an option. Sitting up tall, leaning forwards, relaxing the body down. Allow your spine to round here, your neck to relax, and the weight of your head to drop forwards. Allow your arms to find a position that allows them to relax, including the shoulders. So that could be out in front of you or just up onto the feet and soften once more, softening the face, the neck, the shoulders, right through the body, give the weight of the upper body forwards, and just let go. The more you breathe out, the more you let go. Just a bit of time and breath can have on the body. Just noticing as we lay here in this final posture. Just how good our body is at doing what it needs to do when it's given the right circumstances. Just how amazing and willing our body is to calm, to let go, to release and to come back into balance. And those are just the things that we can feel. So just trust your body. Know that your body knows what to do. And just really appreciating that your body has all of these processes and little miracles really that are happening on the inside that we may not see or feel, but they're there. The body has a natural intelligence and ability to heal and restore when it's given the ingredients that it needs. So that's what we've been doing today. I'm just enjoying a few more breaths here.
nice and slowly. You can start to bring yourself back up into a seated position, taking the knees back into center, dropping the legs onto the floor, maybe point and flex those toes. Maybe rest back onto your hands and drop your knees from side to side, just giving a little movement to the hips and lower back. And uh, we will end just by laying down for a moment. Really important after we've moved through our postures that the body just has a moment to recalibrate. So you can have a cushion under the legs or a bolster. You can have a cushion under the back of the head if you want to. Just laying flat for a moment. And just letting all of that relaxation step that little bit deeper now. So really allow yourself once more to give the weight of your body over to the floor. And you are very welcome to stay here a little longer. But if you're ready to start to move, you can take a little stretch out from top to bottom. Taking a deeper breath. Some more videos from me they're coming weekly so like this video maybe say that or hit the subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you next time namaste